so this is the uh, retro gaming uh, board we had yesterday um the pentium 4 4 socket 478 yeah and um, it's working although the ram wasn't working in two of the slots so um it's also quite dusty and dirty so this is another one that's going to go into the sink basically with the soap and water yeah uh, it was kind of, like, kind of like that creamy hand washes and stuff I use. I call it soap. Um, so to do that, uh, obviously we need to remove the CMOS battery um, and the CPU. Yeah. Um, now, there's something I just want to mention to you if you've not worked on these a lot, is that fair enough. Removing the CPU clamp on these is quite easy. You just literally lift the handles up. Yeah. Uh, or rather fold them back that way yeah so I mean they, they effectively clamp down or they just flick off that's easy the problem with these I've found and obviously they're all going to be quite old is that there's a tendency for the CPU to kind of glue itself to the to the heatsink with the old uh, heatsink compound yeah and when you take this off the whole thing comes the CPU and the the the, uh, the, the fan yeah the heatsink the whole thing comes off and you need to be wary of this because if you don't lift it off straight you run a very good chance of actually bending pins on the CPU I and mean, possibly even breaking yeah or damaging the socket and this is not what you want yeah so the way to remove these basically is to I use like a little crowbar <laughs> just leave her inside there to release the the two things yeah same on the other side push out with a little bit little crowbar in there again that's released that one so we're just down to the last one now with these to do same thing again get the crowbar in that's it yeah so that's free now this is what i'm saying when i lift this this is well stuck yeah there's a very good chance I'm going to take the CPU with it, and this is why you need to take a little bit of care. Um, first of all, it doesn't even want to come off at all. Uh, focus. Uh, this doesn't surprise me. You know, you find these things don't even want to lift off, off initially. Um, it can help if we actually take the entire fan assembly off, yeah, and that's generally. A clip here you see the one at the side yeah this clip here so we clip that outwards and this this assembly will start to come off obviously careful not to break it yeah I've released that side and again down here there's like another plastic clip the one in the middle yeah and we do the same with that when we get under the edge of that one lift it out with slightly there we are so we now have the entire fan assembly off now and you can see i can pick the whole board up by this yeah this is how solid this is this has got stuck on here um you want to gently try and release this but there's a very good chance you're going to bring the get the cpu come with it yeah just gently around the four corners yeah don't just like wrenching this off this is where you cause the damage yeah this is very very stuck at the side there we go so I've released something yeah and you can see it's taken the CPU with it yeah and this is what happens even though the, the thing is clamped downwards before the CPU will give it up on here it actually takes the CPU out of the socket because the way I've just done that if I zoom in you'll see I haven't damaged it yeah but you'll see why it is likely that you will if you don't take some care okay so i mean we, we didn't damage the socket i've never actually damaged the socket but i have bent pins on the processors yeah before now uh, let's try to just get it to focus for you so you can see the cpu pins are quite fine and easy to damage if you're used to like uh you know our amd processors rising and such like they are much thicker pins than these and they're harder to damage the, these are, can be quite easy to damage yeah so just bear that in mind when you actually uh, removing the uh, processor basically yeah sorry the heatsink again we have to lever this off the yeah so there i'm under the edge of it now now it comes yeah very very dry doesn't surprise me um so there's a cpu came off safely yeah 
Uh, we can uh, drop it into the board. It should fit in quite nicely. I'm trying to remember if we had a, yeah, a pin one this way. Yeah. So that's in good and safe. Yeah. We can now clean all the uh, heat sink compound off this without risking bending any pins. It's best to do it in the socket. Yeah. So we know it's a 2.8 uh, gig because we, we, we tested this machine, yeah. There we are. Pentium 4, 2.8 gigahertz, yeah. I mentioned on the video the other day I had a valuable one, I said it was a 3.2. It was actually the valuable one I had was a 3.4. Uh, first number is a processor speed, second one is a cache size, one meg. And this is a 533 megahertz front side buzz, yeah. The valuable ones really are the 800s, yeah. So if you get like a, a 4.3 slash uh, 1M slash 800, that's where the money is. Yeah. So, sorry, I say again, you get a 3.4, yeah, 3.4 gigahertz slash 1M slash 800, that's where the money is. If you've got a 4.3, then you've got something. <laughs> a unicorn, yeah. Okay. So, we have that off there. Um, not difficult to clean this up now. Uh, so, basically, now this board is going to go into the sink, yeah. Uh, the board itself is going to go in the sink. And hopefully, that will fix the problem with the ram slots as well. I mean, there's no bent pins in this like the previous uh, board I was looking at. Uh, so that's all okay. So yeah, let's go get us in the sink, soap and water, and give it a good dry overnight, and then let's see what it does. So here's the uh, Pentium 4478 uh, motherboard. Uh, it's been in the sink uh, with some hand wash and water, and it's had a good clean. And uh, basically now, that's uh, resolved the final problem I had with this in as much as I could only get one of the dim slots working. Um, I now ha I've, uh, I've tried various combinations, they're working, I've tried uh, individually the slots, I've tried with three 512 meg, and I now have three uh, one gig sticks in here. So if we just uh, have a look at the screen and I'll just fire the machine up. I mean, you'll, you'll see when it boots up now, uh, we will have three gig of RAM, yeah, uh, which is the maximum this board supports, by the way. I'll just give it a moment to just uh, start. Here we go. There, so you can see. Yeah, we have three gig of RAM on there. Uh, so uh, this is this is good, basically. Uh, this we can now say is uh, fully refurbished. Yeah, I mean all the capacitors are really nice on this machine. It, it's in good nick considering the age. It's a 2003 uh, this motherboard, so you know it's it's some 18 years old. Um, everything's running, and I'm sure somebody would be very happy uh, to buy this. And I suspect around 50 pounds. I'll probably sell this. I normally sell these with the heatsink and the clamp because these are hard to find on their own yeah so i will sell this as a as a complete working machine with the 2.8 gigahertz p4 and uh, uh, yeah 50 60 pounds something like that maybe okay guys i hope you enjoyed that one uh i've had some interesting stuff turn on up in the post today so i'll see you very soon with some more videos